Hey, welcome to this Windows channel, and this is the Tech News for Monday, November 2nd, 2015. And today, in news, we have the first uh, information that apparently Windows 10 Fall Update, that what was called Threshold 2, would be released on November 10th. Now, if you look at the calendar, November 10th is Patch Tuesday. And I did say in one of my videos that I would think that Patch Tuesday could be a time where they would release this. So it's very interesting to note that because it uh, would mean that I think technically we should have another insider preview for the insiders this week. Um, I really think that you know Microsoft released a, um, the official uh, final RTM version to insiders before they updated machines so uh, to the, the official Windows 10 version on, on you know July 29th so I guess there would be an insider preview this week so that they can at least test for a few days if people have problems with that version uh, so I would expect to have an update this week for insiders if Windows 10 uh, fall update is really to be released on November 10th. So that's going to be interesting to see. Um, but apparently there are some sources that say November 10th. But uh, once again, a lot of people were saying November 2nd, which is not the case. So we'll see. Uh, you know, November just starting. So uh, they have some time to uh, release that fall update to Windows 10 that a lot of people are waiting for. Market share of Windows 10. As we are... Checking out Net Applications released a number again. Um, you know, last week I was mentioning more than 120 million installs. Net Applications says it's closer to 132 million that are installs, which is very interesting because it means that 132 million Windows installs, uh, from what they say, accounts for almost 8% of the market right now of Windows or of PCs uh, right now. So it's interesting to see that it still has not beaten uh, Windows 8.1, which is still at 10.6% right now, almost 107 But of course, as Windows 10 grows, Windows 8.1 will probably shrink fast. Interesting to note, there's still more Windows XP computers out there than are Windows 10 right now at 11.6%. But the market share of Windows XP has been uh, really, uh, really, really going uh, down the drain and at a pretty fast pace in the past few months. So people are really ditching Windows XP um, as it is for most people, uh, you know, an old operating system. And uh, there's lots of uh, companies that are ditching also Windows XP, like, you know, Chrome and Firefox, both saying, well, you know, we're not going to do a, a version of our browsers for Windows XP now. So, um, you know, that market share will shrink, of course. Uh, still dominating largely Windows 7, which has 55.7% of computer installs around the world. Uh, that's a big chunk, but it is now starting to, because, you know, up until about September, Windows 7 was still increasing its market share, which was interesting. But now for the first time, the market share of Windows 7 is actually um, starting to shrink slowly. So it means that people are actually going to Windows 10 instead of Windows 7. And as we have updates also, that's going to be interesting to see how fast Windows 10 increases. Even though it really slowed down the pace, uh, apparently installs are at a, about a pace of 700,000 installs a day right now for Windows 10, which is still a nice, nice number, basically. Um, interesting to note that if you look at Mac OS 10, 0.11 and 10.10, .10, which together make about 5.6% of the market share, uh, we see that um, Windows 10 has more market more market share than when the Mac computers right now, which uh, is not that tough to beat because the market share for Macs are very, is very small around the world. And for those that wonder what's other, the other is basically a mix of older operating systems like um, older Mac OS 10 versions, 10.7, 0.8, 0.9. Also Linux is in there. So uh, and uh, 
you know, depending on what you're using, uh, there could be Chromebooks and stuff like that showing up here. So uh, interesting to see the market share of Windows and that uh, Windows 10 is actually increasing all the time, which is what Microsoft wants, basically. Um, talking about Windows updates, uh, Terry Meyerson did commit this weekend that there will be more info on updates starting uh, in the next month or so. So that's going to be interesting. You know what? One of the biggest problems about Windows 10 was privacy issues. And I think the, on, the only thing they can do is help by just saying, look, we are installing these updates and here's what these updates are and what they do in your computer and what they fix. Um, you know, I, I never understood why Microsoft did not want to tell us that. Um, so apparently it's changing and the Terry Myerson did say that it promises that we'll have update information as to what's happening. So I think that's very, very interesting and uh, good news to, for everyone, basically. And finally, browser market share. Browser market share is interesting. Uh, Net Applications released its numbers of the browser market share by checking out uh, on the different websites what browser is actually viewing the website. And it does seem that Chrome is really, really taking uh, you know, uh, more and more market share. It's reached 31%, which is the highest number they've ever had for around the world usage of uh, Windows, of um, browsers, sorry. So Google Chrome increasing its market share. And at the pace of the increase, uh, in early 2016, they could be, uh, you know, passing the 35% bar, which is pretty interesting. And, you know, shows the aggressiveness of Google trying to push its browser. And, you know, I use Google Chrome because I like the sync functionalities, basically. Internet Explorer is still at 50.9%, which is the biggest browser usage. But that's all versions uh, included in one bag. So um, if you you know, take Internet Explorer um, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all of that plus 11 makes 50.9% market share. If you take only Internet Explorer 11, it drops a lot. And it's a little scary because um, Internet Explorer 8, 9, 10 are all dropped from security updates in January, which means that if people continue to use Internet Explorer um, other versions than IE 11, uh, it means that people will not be very secure on the web. So I hope that this is going to change. But uh, the numbers of Internet Explorer are really, really uh, going down. So it means that they, as early as Christmas, apparently, uh, Internet Explorer might actually fall below 50%. And that would be the first time since a long, long time, uh, basically, um, more than a decade. So it's pretty uh, interesting to see that uh, Internet Explorer is really losing. And, you know, we don't even talk about Microsoft Edge because it's such a small number of people, actually. Firefox also slowing down. Only 11% of the market share now. And you know what? Well, Firefox was once in the... Uh, 2008, 2009, 2010, uh, one of the, the, the most used browsers. Um, technically, uh, you know, things are really moving around because uh, Internet Explorer is dominating, but Firefox was really high in number of market share. And it's really slowing down. It seems that people are ditching Firefox for other browsers, probably Google Chrome in many cases. So it's interesting to see that. Um, and um, they were saying that at the pace of decrease of Firefox, uh, it will have less than 10% market share in early 2016 if all continues like that. So uh, interesting numbers to see that, uh, you know, we are getting these numbers of uh, the browser's market changing um, as time goes by. And Chrome really, really starting to dominate the web browser scene. So that's basically the uh, news for today, Monday, November 2nd, 2015. If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have comments, questions, anything you want to know about Windows, any problem you might have, 
let us know. I'll try to help you if we can. Don't forget, every Tuesdays from 3 to 5 p.m., we have a live show where we answer your questions. So hope you can join us. And thank you for following us. It's always very, very nice to have you on board.